Montana schools are in a challenging space right now. Budget deficits, troubles retaining staff, and programs being cut. A working group of over 170 Montanans has been put together by the Office of Public Instruction with the goal to take on these issues. NBC Montana's investigative reporter Bowen West reports on crisis in the classroom. Declining enrollment, rising inflationary costs, and the loss of ESSER funds has left a lot of schools in Montana with less money. Before next year's legislative session, a group comprising of more than 170 Montanans has assembled to find out what needs to change for education in the state. The monthly meetings examine a series of obstacles facing schools. The one brought up at every meeting the need to keep teachers, especially those in rural communities. This is a problem. Like we're a month into school year and if you go in there, they're they're done. Like they look like it's the last month, not the first month. And I think that that's a problem across the board. A recent report from the Montana Department of Labor and Industry said the average salary for a teacher was $60,000. Newly licensed teachers' average was $43,000. A group looking to ease tax burden on residents in the state while still providing schools with ample funding suggested a sales or resort tax to bring in more money from visitors. There's a 30% turnover rate for teachers within the first five years. Base pay to all of the states that border Montana uh, the legislature should at least carve out $100 million of the, six, the $760 million surplus that they have currently uh, put towards education. And that's the minimum. The working group was split into smaller specialized teams focusing on different subjects, including the funding formula, changes to programs and curriculum, and more. The working groups will meet throughout the summer before sending off a proposal in September. I'll continue to report on the future of your child's education. Reporting in studio, Bowen West, NBC Montana.